it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. This is my second Halloween costume idea for you guys. I really hope you guys what? I really hope that you guys enjoy this. I did a fortune teller gypsy look. Um, it was really super easy. You just build up as much color as you can on your face and yeah, I just, I'm so obsessed with this and I love it so much and I've been seeing a bunch of tutorials, not tutorials, I've been seeing a bunch of Pinterest pictures and I just had to do it. Okay. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. It's a happy Halloween and yeah. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know if that's going to happen. Whether or not it's going to happen, I'm going to be happy anyway. Um, but I would really appreciate it if you guys just... Click the subscribe button down over here and right over here. Alright, so without further ado, let's get to it. So I just went and did my whole entire foundation. I just kind of did my whole, like everyday foundation routine, but like amped it up a little bit. And I know it probably doesn't look like too much, but I did use a lot of bronzer and I did use um, a lot of like highlight. And I'm probably going to go in later and put in more. The first thing we're going to be doing is going in with Max Noodle Paint Pot, and you guys know how much I love this. Oh, I just love it so much. It gives like a nice pearl look to it. And I'm just taking a large concealer brush and I'm going to apply that right to the center of my eye and down below as well because we're going to be bringing the shadow down. So now I'm going to go in with my Naked 3 palette. Wow, I'm introducing a new palette to you guys. Hmm. <laughs> I've always had this. I don't know. Okay. And I'm going to be taking this color right here. It's called Limit. So we're using this light brown shade as a base color. So this is just going to help blend out all the shadows way easier. It's going to just look a lot more smoother as well. So I was planning on doing a purple halo eye with the gold center, um, just kind of reads, you know, gypsy fortune teller to me, so that is what I'm going to be doing. So now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills single, this is in the color Dusty Rose, my all time favorite color. So you want to go in with a really fluffy brush when you do this, because this is going to go into the crease. I'm taking a Morphe E22 brush. And I'm going to be applying that all in my crease. I'm going to take it out just a little bit because we want to like make this look really, really intense. Alright, so I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced palette, and this was the Christmas palette from last year, from 2015. So, I'm going to be taking the color Wish List, which is right in the middle. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous gold color. Oh my god. And it's like such a creamy shadow that I really don't even need, like, any Fix Plus or anything like that. So, it's amazing. I'm going to be putting that right in the center of my eye, and this is how we're going to build up the halo effect. I'm only going right up to my crease, as you can see, um, because you don't want this to go like all the way up. You just want it to hit the crease. So next I'm going to be taking my MAC Wonder Woman palette, and this palette is so old. I'm sorry guys. It's not like so old, but like, I feel like from like 2012. Or something but it's like one of my like my oh it's like one of those palettes that I just love so much and I'm gonna be taking this color right here which is called real drama and I'm taking a Morphe E22 brush once again it's like a great blending brush like overall and I'm gonna start building that color and just watching out for the halo that I have created Remember, like, the darker that it gets, the more intense that your look will be. You just want to keep on going in and blending. 
Um, don't worry if the lines look too, too harsh right now because we're going to be smoking everything out. Alright, so next I'm going to take one more shade just to like smoke it out more. So I'm going to be taking this Bare Minerals um, Loose Pigment. And this is such a pretty pigment and it's called Cherry Cocoa truffle. I'm just going to take my Morphe E22 brush once again and lightly tap it in here and once again you can build up color um, you know just blop and lightly tap it out and I mean I just I love building up color so much so that's why I always say like just build it up don't worry like and I'm going to really focus that like on the corners and this is perfect because it's bringing in some sparkles, some much needed sparkle to this look. Just a little. It has a little hint of sparkles. So I just used that right on the side just to like smoke it out some more and make it more darker. Um, so next I'm going to go back. Oh, I'm going to take my Naked palette, the original Naked palette. I'm going to take the color Virgin, which is right here. And I'm going to just apply that right below my brow bone. I just want to highlight this, nothing like too much, just to make it pop a little bit more. So it doesn't look like we brought up the shadow all the way up. Kind of brush and just kind of smoke it out so it doesn't look as harsh. Cool. The next is on to the bottom over here. So I'm going to take a few different colors, a few more colors. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. defining brush, it's um, just an angled brush, and I'm going to be going back in with Dusty Rose. I'm going to put that right underneath my eye. And this is going to start off our transition. Now we're really going to make this look intense, so I'm really going to like bring this down a lot. <laughs> I'm going to take that same brush, I'm going to go back in with the Real Drama Color from the Wonder Woman collection. We can just smoke that out on the sides. So to get a little bit more definition, I'm going to take Yule Log, I think that's how you pronounce it, in the Too Faced palette. And I'm going to be applying that right underneath. Uh -huh. I'm just smoking out a little bit. And you want to just keep a really big fluffy brush uh, just to smoke everything out. Just have that be there for you, you know? So I'm going to go into the Naked palette once again. I'm going to be taking the color Hustle. So I'm going to be going in with the Naked 3 palette, and I'm going to be taking the color Buzz, just like here. I'm going to be taking Buzz on an Inglot 29PO brush. It's going to introduce that kind of just like on the sides. So I'm going to be going in to the Too Faced palette once again. I'm going to be taking the color Stiletto, which is a black matte color. And I'm going to be smoking out my bottom lash line. I'm just going back in with my Morphe brush and I'm just going to darken up my crease just a little bit more, my outer corners. So I'm taking this Urban Decay brush, it's super old, once again, I have no clue. It's just a detailing brush. And I'm going to be going in with the color Moon on Their Wings, which is right he here, <laughs> in the Too Faced palette. I'm going to be using that as a highlight in my inner corner. I like this color because it's sparkly as well, so it gives like a lot of... You know, sparkleness, the stuff that I like, sparkles. 
So I'm going to be doing liner. I'm going to use my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner, and it's in the color Black is Black. And I'm just going to go off camera real quick, do this, because I'm not good at doing my eyeliner on camera. I'm so sorry. You know, okay? And I'm just going to go do that, and I will be right back. All right, so to fill you in real quick, so I just did my eyeliner. Um, I just did it thin. I mean, you can go as long as you want or dramatic, because especially, and this look is just so you know, dramatic. And I also use my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in the color... I don't know what the color is on this. It says OL or 10. Cool. <laughs> and I just use that to line my uh, bottom lash line and my tight line as well. So now I'm going to put on my Ardell lashes, and they are the Wispies, and I love the Wispies so much. I'm obsessed. I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. Woo! So I just went and put my lashes on. I um, just applied a little bit more eyeliner or anything that I needed to just touch up on just a little bit. And yeah, so these are the eyes. So I'm going to be using the MAC Plum Lip Liner, and then I'm going to be using the color Hung Up by MAC, and it's just like this really awesome berry color. Oh, I love it so much. So lastly, I'm going to take that color wish list once again. I'm just going to use it a little bit right on my finger. I'm going to apply it right into like the middle of my lips. Just to get that like really awesome gold effect. Alright, so this is the look. I'm so excited to how this turned out. I'm really, really happy. I'm gonna zoom out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you already know what you're going to be for Halloween. Let me know. And I'm planning on doing like one more Halloween tutorial. So let me know what you want to see. I have a few things in mind, um, but I really want to know what you guys want to see as well. So thanks once again. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And thumbs up this video if you like it. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.